<laughs> now, we're looking to be inspired on a Friday morning. And Adrian, well, he was inspired and he was taught a squash lesson by two incredible youngsters who are set to change the face of squash in South Africa, maybe globally. Take a look. So back when I was at school, people say, oh, you're so big, you should take up squash, Adrian. <laughs> well, guess what? I'm back, I'm pumped, and this time I got back up. I've got South Africa's super squash squad, the Sitole siblings. Success. Yes, South African squash courts are being set alight, not by Adrian, but by two teenagers from Nell Sprayton and Pumalanga. What makes them extra impressive is the fact that they're brother and sister. I started squash when I was like eight years old and at that time I didn't do any sport like I was, I just, I didn't excel in any sport but then like my dad was a very good squash player so not really, a, yeah he just played squash so he actually introduced us to the sport squash. Then. So how does it feel to have a brother who also plays the sport and he's also seriously good? Is it motivation or is it a competition? I also want to beat him and he also wants to, like, wants to stay ahead of me, so yeah. Panache, at just 13, how does it feel to be playing in the under-16 group? I've been playing in the under-16 for like last year I also played, so I'm also used to it now. I'm used to the girls and the, 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 the different level they play at, yeah, I'm used to it. I seriously thought that squash wouldn't take me this far, but up until what I achieved in America, I now, I'm now starting to believe. Wayne, who attends St. Stidians on a squash scholarship, achieved the remarkable feat of finishing in the top 16 of 128 entries at the US Open of squash last year. I couldn't believe that I actually finished uh, top 16. It was because there were some pretty tough opponents from 50, from people who stood at 50. So what do you say is your ultimate goal when it comes to squash? For squash to be in the Olympics and if I could uh, participate uh, there, I'll be really happy. And what's going to be your focus for the rest of the year? My goal for the rest of the year in squash is to make it into the top four in South Africa, to represent them in the World Champs and the All Africa, which is coming very soon in August. The Satole siblings have indeed been dominating the courts. Panache also won the girls' under-16 SA Schools Championship title. Adrian never stood a chance, but he was a good sport. So, while my squash game certainly hasn't improved, I gracefully and humbly hand over my racket to these two. And judging by their prowess on the court, we have the new king and queen of squash. Oh. The Sitole siblings taking the world one squash court at a time. This definitely looks like Adrian had his work cut out for them, but they're making us super proud.